Shuichi woke up at 3 in the morning to the curious sensation of something very warm and wet against his leg. He knew it was 3 because the alarm clock by his bed glowed bright into the, in the dark. It took him a shamefully long time to wake up and, mm, enough to realize what had happened. It wasn't until Kokichi made a lot of sound and his deep and shifted slightly in his sleep and shifted slightly against his side that it really hit him. Shuichi reached one hand under the blankets and felt around. Sure enough, there was a warm wetness seeping into the pajamas and the sheets. That couldn't, that couldn't be good for the mattress, he thought idly. Further exploration proved that Kokichi's pajamas were soaked and well. There was simply no doubt that the other boy had wet the bed. Shuichi's bed. On the very first night sharing a bed together, Carefully taking back his hand, he pondered his next course of action. Did he wake Kokichi up? Did he wait until morning? Eventually the key pee was going to get cold and uncomfortable. But, and what if Kokichi still had to pee more? He drank a lot of panza right before bed. Would he wet the bed even more if Shuichi didn't wake him? Was this a problem he usually had, or just a fluke? So many questions. <laughs> Sayara? His decision was made for him as Kokichi sleepily cracked his open his eyes with a sigh. Shuichi leaned over, over and turned the lamp. Kokichi flinched at the sudden light filling the dark room. But after a few moments, his expression changed. First there was confusion, and then, as a terror, that Shuichi had never seen on Kokichi's face. Sayara, I... You wet the bed. It was almost comical how the same boy who pretended as if he was some terrible criminal mastermind who had no shame now looked absolutely mortified. Considering the two, the two of them had only just broken past all of the barriers and tentatively started a relationship, doing s something so embarrassing must have really affected him. She wished, she wished he wished he knew exactly what Kokichi was thinking. If only to know how to, if only to know how to best comfort him. I don't, I never. Kokichi sat up and threw back the blankets, revealing the puddle around him that would seep it into Shuichi's side. Kokichi was heavily flushed as he took in the damage. Shuichi, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Shuichi was almost impressed by how, how big a bladder was such a small person like Kokichi must have. Sayada, I swear, I haven't wet the bed since I was a little kid. It wasn't even a thing I did alone. I don't know why. It was then that Shuichi noticed two things. One, Kokichi's eyes looked awfully wet. But did he piss his fucking eyes too? Whenever he cried crocodile tears, there was no build up. So these looked real, and two, he was slowly, slowly fidgeting. Maybe it was because he was nervous, but there was that other possibility too. Oma, I believe you, and I'm not mad, really. But no one needed to be honest with me. Kokichi wouldn't meet his eyes as he nodded. Do you still need to pee? Huh? Shuichi gently grabbed Kokichi's chin and looked at the gazes. Kokichi's breath went shallow. Shuichi licked his lips. He's gonna fucking drink his piss. <laughs> yeah, I do. Isn't that path pathetic, Sayada? Oh, I finally let you in, and you let me get into your bed for just for me to piss in it. And I still have to go. I'm the worst. What are you, a fucking Nagito kitty? <coughs> <coughs> you aren't, he insisted, cupping his hand against Kokichi's cheek and feeling the flushed skin beneath his hand. It was an accident. I told you I'm not that mad. I care about you, Oma, and this doesn't change that. But, Oma, if you still need to go, you should just finish right here. What if Kokichi had... I've been about to say it died as the words spilled from Shuichi's lips. He wasn't sure he'd ever seen Kokichi so flustered in his life. What? 
Say harder, you want me to? Kokichi, Shuichi nodded, his eyes glancing down to Kokichi's crotch. Kokichi's pajama pants were soaked, and he, mm, he could make out Kokichi's yellow and pink striped underwear to the clinging mm, fabric. He felt his cr <coughs> Oh, fuck. He felt his cock twitch at the thought of Kokichi repissing them. I, I didn't know Sayhara was so kinky. He could nev never sleep. He, his face redder than Shuichi had ever seen her. Then slowly, he nodded and s closed his eyes. Shuichi wa watched with rapt attention as a little, little stream began to trickle out from the head of Kokichi's penis. Then Kokichi ma made a small pain sound and let go. Shuichi almost moaned as he what the fuck? Shuichi almost moaned as he watched the piss pour out of his silk clothing, drenching the bed even more than it already was. None of that mattered though, as Kokichi had a look of relief on, on his face, and Shuichi couldn't help but crawl onto his lap and kiss him deeply. What the fuck? It's a fucking water, Jesus Christ. Kokichi moaned.